Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. Hunter Biden has not been in the news recently. There hasn't been some new breaking release of him having sex with prostitutes on coke. There hasn't been any new extortion deals where he's peddling the influence of his father, the president, and all of the American systems of power over the world in order to extract money from foreign nationals. Has Hunter realized that perhaps drugs, prostitutes, and corruption of the world's greatest superpower is not a good thing to be doing? It's morally wrong, perhaps. Has he turned a new leaf. <laughs> well, no, of course he hasn't. Well, actually, Hunter Biden is starting a whole new business. He, he's launching into a whole new career, and that is art, ladies and gentlemen. He's an artist at heart. Now, Hunter Biden has no art training. He's never been to art school. He's never learned how to paint. He's never really focused on it before right now before his father became president of the United States. So you might be wondering why. Why is he now interested in making his main profession be an artist? Well, it just so happens that art in the art industry is the largest unregulated legal market in America. Meaning that there is absolutely no way to trace who is buying the art or where the money comes from. There is no disclosure needed whatsoever when it comes to people purchasing art from Hunter Biden, the son of the President of the United States. You see, the art industry is not subjected to the Bank Secrecy Act, and it has no obligation to the U.S. government whatsoever when it comes to anti-money laundering or anti-terrorism funding laws. And in 2020, the art industry came under a lot of fire because of this exact loophole, because Russian oligarchs who had been sanctioned in 2014 by the United States were using this to spend upwards of $90 million to peddle influence and money into America, even though they were sanctioned, because it's anonymous. The art industry has already been exposed as a money laundering scheme because there's no government agency for appraisals. All it takes is one crooked appraiser and you have a very efficient money laundering scheme. A painting which is in reality worth $30 can be appraised for $10 million, sold, and there you go. But that's actually not the end of it. Because if you buy this $10 painting for $10 million and then you, say, donate it to an art gallery, well, that's just a charitable donation that you make. And the appraisal, the value of the piece of art which you donated is $10 million. That's a tax write-off. But if you read the mainstream news, he is apparently the best painter that has ever lived, I have to say. Nothing but glowing, glowing reviews from all the art industry. This first-time painter's art is going to be going for upwards of $500,000 to a $1 million. Look at that art right there. That's a masterpiece. I'd pay a million dollars for that. I'd pay two million dollars for that. It's like a it's a, like a field, a meadow of flowers. I think this Hunter Biden painting is my favorite. I believe in my vision, it's an abstract, and in my vision, it represents the syphilis. The syphilis that he has and struggled with. It's a piece that talks about turmoil and, and suffering. The syphilis that, that has plagued him ever since he fucked all those hookers. Alright, so I'm gonna put on my conspiracy theory hat here for a moment as I say an insane conspiracy theory. Perhaps Biden, Hunter Biden, is just interested in being able to legally take bribes. Maybe the son of the president, who has a history of using the influence of his father to make a lot of money, isn't actually the greatest artist who has ever lived and is starting his career, his new career at age 40-whatever, 50, I don't know how old he is, uh, with a, a opening salary of 10 minutes of work equals a million dollars. Yeah, I know this conspiracy theory is a bit out there. There's a lot of dots connecting, some real schizo shit. An industry with a history of corruption and the son of the president with a history of corruption. Nothing going on here. No, I'm insane. The the response from the bug people, leftists on Twitter, about Hunter Biden, his laptop, Ukraine, China, the ten other controversies and open corruptions that he's done is, oh, what does it matter if he's massively corrupt and peddling the influence of the president of the United States? Uh, he's just the son. He, he's not the president. Come on, guys. Who cares? Honestly, as every day passes, I start thinking more and more, maybe America deserves its fate.